It's time for a quick review and tour of Ginger Donna Pola Goa. This hotel is located for about 35 to 40 minutes of drive from airport and it's 1.7 kilometers from the Donna Pola viewpoint. So it's got amazing city center location. But talking about the nearby location, it's located in La Oceana Colony. So it gives a very colony vibe. It does not have a bright nightlife around it. But if you're going with family, you can definitely prefer this stay. So there's also free parking at the property. And if I talk about the rates, the rates are very nominal. During off season, it can go for about 5,000 for basic room and during on season it can go for about 9000 for the basic room so decide accordingly i guess the property has for about 15 20 rooms and not more than that so it's a small property so given that the pool area and the pool size is decent enough and i think you'll have a good time in the pool since it's in a good concealed location i'm someone who prefers pool to be like that i do not like rooms overlooking the pool because i feel conscious while dipping in the pool so this is about the pool area and let's go back and start the room door. So we opted for the room with bathtub because that's what we preferred and we got the room triple one. Then you have this panel which you can set from inside your room and basis that you will be getting the service or not. So you can set it in the laundry mode, in the service mode or in the privacy mode, whatever you want. Now let's get inside the room. So our room was located on the first floor and yeah, mind you, this property does not have lift. So this is like just like two floor property and it's okay for people who can climb stairs. We were at the first floor and this is what the basic amenities in the room are. As soon as you enter, you get a table, chair, very basic pantry stuff, a mini refrigerator, the remotes to control your AC, TV and all of that and a very, 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 very comfortable bed. Hotel's bed are always comfortable and that was the case with Ginger Donna Paula also. I loved it. Now this room also features a balcony and you guys know my love for balcony. So I opened the curtain for you people. Let's go out and see how the view looks like. Alright, so when we booked the property, there was some constructions or renovation, something going on. So this is what the view from our balcony looks like. Now this is a private balcony. And yeah, also can you see that property right there? It's Taj. So this is like walking distance from the beach, which is I guess it's the Winginum beach or something like that. So it's like five to six minutes walk. And now if you hang on a little, you can see the pool area from your balcony. Now the best part, you've got a tub which is adjacent to a glass window. Now quickly let's go inside and let me show you the washroom also. The room is pretty decent size and I think a family would be perfectly able to stay here without any clutters or mess because let's quickly go and have a look at the washroom the washroom is huge as well we were not expecting the washroom to be this huge but yeah we kind of loved it on your right you will see the toilet then this is the bathing area and the best part to avoid any of the fights we've got two sinks his and her sink and look at the bathtub okay but let's quickly see the storage space that this washroom has to offer so you've got ample of drawers and the storage space so even if you're staying for a longer duration the space won't be an issue here you've got a huge full-size cupboard that has a secure security logger and multiple drawers and then continuing the tour this is how your bathtub looks like now this is some antique sort of bathtub it's like a standalone bathtub or something and this is what the view will be if you're soaking in the tub you can overlook the property of Taj I know it's not that impressive of you but not bad right so yeah I think this is pretty much all we have for the room tour now I'm gonna give you a few details about what is there in and around the area and how is it that you can spend some time if you're staying at this property. Now this property is not something I would recommend to go out alone in the night because it's super quiet, it's a proper residential area and you will not feel like you are in Goa if you're staying at this property. So this is good for family but I'm not sure if it's good for bachelors or not. Now let's talk about the breakfast area which was a little bit of disappointment for us because it's the most basic breakfast buffet that you can ever get. The breakfast offers four dishes every day. One could be of something based on egg and the rest are vegetarian. So this guy did not like it at all. Anyway, so it's decent enough. I will not say it's bad, but I think we were hoping a little more items to be served in the breakfast if you pay extra for breakfast buffet at the hotel, right? So uh, the second day we got idli, paratha, poha, sandwiches and they were not very yummy they were like basic quality okayish to eat so anything was not very tasty but it was just you know it'll do for the breakfast sort of thing so we decided to go out for the stroll so places to look around can be the beach area as i shown you in the previous clip so this is like 10 minutes walking from the hotel and then you can go to this winginum beach where you can also enjoy a lot of water sports 
another activity that you can indulge in while you're staying at Ginger Donna Paula is casinos definitely because all of them are like 10 to 15 minutes drive from this particular hotel and they are amazing more about Delton Royale in the next video but this is all I had for this video let me know if you've stayed in Ginger Donna Paula and how were your experiences like bye